Hi, my name is Philip Hutchinson and today's date is the 8th of September 2020. This video is all about me following stuff that's on the risk assessment for using a Honda lawn, a Honda rotary mower. So, a Honda roller mower. It's a roller mower because it's got a roller on the back and puts nice stripes in the formal grass, the formal lawn beds that we have in the park and all around Chester, wherever. So some of the ways that, some of the things that are on the risk assessment are hand-on vibration. And on every single piece of machinery that we have that vibrates is a hats tag. And you can see on this one, there's a number 10 written. I take that number 10 and I write it on the back of my timesheet. If I use the lawnmower between 7 and 8, I write a number 10 between the hours of 7 and 8. If I use it between 8 and 9, I do the same thing. And if I use more than 300 points in a day, that's it, no more. Vibrating equipment for that day. Um, some of the other ways that I stay safe is because it's a, because they're loud machines. I wear these to keep my ears safe. And in case of flying debris, I wear these to keep my eyes safe. And to keep the machine in good working order, it's a good machine, and, I want, and we all look after our machines here, um, we do pre-start checks. Some of the things that we check are the engine oil. To check the engine oil, twist that off. And there is enough oil on there Then I check the air filter by twisting these off. I check the air filter so because we use these mowers a lot. A few times a week, almost every day. So I have taken, I've taken the cover off. The air filter comes off just like that and it looks pretty good. So I'm going to put that back on. Um, some of the other things that we do is check the machine over for damage, just general damage. I check the blades, I check the ha the handles up there, I check the switches, which are there, and they're all okay. I look for damaged parts, um, and you can see I'm the floor that I'm sitting on is hard standing. This is where I do all of the refilling of the, of the petrol, right there. Um, we've got a bunded, we keep it all in the bunded container. And if we spill, I use a funnel, I try not to spill anything, but I, if we do spill anything, we've got absorbent material as well to soak it all back up again, which we sweep up. 